Holy shit. All right, so it's a uh, tournament day at Rough River Lake. Um, I'm currently putting in at Axtell Boat Ramp. So those lights over there you see, I don't know how well you can see me right now because it's dark. Um, I guess it's almost uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. But um, we're allowed to launch 30 minutes before the tournament starts. It starts at uh, 6 o'clock, so I'm going to launch at 5.30. I got a pretty good hike, I don't know, 3 or 4 miles, something like that. My dad and I, we did a little um, pre-fishing yesterday and uh, fished everything, man. Fished, uh, fished docks, fished uh, steep walls, main lake walls, um, main lake points, secondary points. All the way in the back of uh, one creek. Um, fish a little bit around inside of that creek coming out. Just little fish really you know 13 14 inches long we can keep 12 inch fish but you know i'm looking for you know two three four five pounders you know you want a kicker or two um and then uh we went out on the main lake and uh i don't know it just came to us we're like let's try brush piles you know it should be pretty good this time of year um post bond you know they pull off in brush piles uh and we found a lot of fish uh, I caught one probably like four pounds and uh, then we were just shaking the other ones off uh, this one spot we probably had five or six fish on that we shook off so that's where I'm going um, let's see what happens All right, so we're gonna start off with this uh, homemade buzz bait from a guy I met from Jericho Lake. He makes baits and sells them to different stores. Pretty freaking awesome looking if you ask me. Check that drag. Now this, is, this is the spot where we caught them yesterday. Uh, there's some brush right here, so the brush is a uh, a good post bond spot for those bass to pull off and recuperate from their uh, their spawn. So, uh, but it seemed like yesterday they were fully recu recuperated. They were they were freaking gorging, man. I mean, I shook off probably I don't know three. My dad three after I caught a four pounder. So it was really nice in this spot here. We still got a few minutes before tournament start. Lines in at six o'clock. Let's see what time it is. Five fifty-seven. It's like three minutes of eternity. <sighs> we did get a whole lot of rain last night. I don't think it should affect these fish very much, though. It's uh, just a main lake stretch of bank here. I'm channel channel sweeps up close to it. It's loaded full of bait fish, and we got big old big old stack of brush right there. So it it should stay. So the plan is catch our limit right here. Keep fishing until they uh, until they quit biting. You know, try different lures or whatnot to see if you can get them to start firing back up. And, Maybe they're constantly loading up in here, I don't know. I don't even know if they're still here. Good Lord. Can we get some lines in action? Six o'clock. Let's do it. Let's quit playing around. We caught them on the beaver yesterday, so let's go ahead and go with that, huh? What do you think? Check the drag.
Oh man. Oh. <sighs> that ain't what we need. Come on. Seeing a cool bass, school of bass underneath the kayak. swim bait action. Kidding me, the only one that I have lucky ripped the tail off. All right, so it looks like, you know, we could get some 12 inch Kentuckys out there. So we're gonna put on a, the uh, rattling Ned. There's brush, so we're gonna use this spot remover, stand up jig head and rig it weedless. I'm thinking uh, because of that action up there on the bank, the shad spawn might be going on. Oh my goodness. Tree fishing. Freaking kidding me? Come on, dude. <laughs> Gotta be a little fish, dude. Gotta be. All right, we're gonna forget about that little fish. There we go. Come on. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> Didn't even catch one smaller than 12 inches yesterday. Yeah, we're definitely going to get this one out by hand. All right, so it wasn't happening at the brush pile like it was yesterday. Um, so what I did, I just, I just headed on down the bank. Uh, way further on down is where I caught that four pounder and um, I seen some shad flipping up on the bank and uh, knew the shad spawn had, you know, had pretty much just begun. We seen it just a little bit yesterday and I was seeing it more today. Um, but uh, now's when the uh, action starts to, starts to pick up. There we 
we go. Right in the bush. Somebody caught him before. Right in the corner of that boat dock there, we're gonna... Dude, there is all kinds of fish on this bank. I want the big girls. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dude, holy cow, oh my gosh, look how big this fish is, this is a freaking tank, Eyes, big old, big old bulgy eyes. Get in there, girl. All right, that was awesome. Look at that, guys. Almost 21 inches. Bye, girl. Oh my gosh. That was a good one. There we go. Nah, I'm, I seen this spot the uh, first time I went over it, heading down this way before I caught the big one and marked some fish. There's some pipes and stuff going in there. There's some brush or rock or something out there. I'm not sure what it is, I can't tell. But it's holding some fish. Let's 
That's a nice rock bass right there. He drilled it too. Looks like a little grouper. Oh, imagine that, another retie. Uh, We need another tank. There we go. Oh man. Followed up with a Ned rig, see what happens. That's what happens. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a better fish. You see how I followed that up with another smaller bottom bait there? And he came back and ate it. Yeah. I'm throwing that Okeechobee craw. And I'm, I'm catching some on a Ned rig, too. All right, well, good luck. I hope so, thanks. Yeah, I think he's bigger than 13. It's completely my fault right there. Um, I have the perfect spot inside of my kayak where I can just slide my net down. And if a uh, fish ever does that, you know, it's, it's going to plop right in my net and I decided not to do it then. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do that anymore. My GoPro ended up not recording at some point. I did end up upgrading another quarter of an inch, and right after this, I'm gonna post the, the total results of the tournament. All in all, um, what I figured out, I had to ditch my original game plan. There was, there was docks with brush piles lined up and down the bank there. They really just weren't in them, and the shad spawn was really going into full fledge. So anytime you see the water temperature getting close to 70 degrees, you can, you can bet that you know the shad are they're spawning. But I can see the shad flicking up there. Sometimes you won't see them, but if you get close enough to the bank, you'll see them swimming around. They'll actually chase your bait back to your boat. Definitely capitalize on catching bass during the shad spawn because there can be some monster bass up there. I just grinded it out all day up and down that same two to three hundred yard stretch. I knew there was fish there, I could see them on my graph. I just had to figure out, you know, what they were doing. I chose to fish the uh, the, the shad spawn pattern and pretty much parallel the bank. My boat, my kayak stayed in 
probably eight feet of water, eight to 12 feet of water. Just parallel the bank, fishing from all the way on the bank out to about six foot of water. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And what do they say? Hit that, hit that like button and that notification bell. That's that YouTube algorithm that helps get your videos up in the, uh, in the search. Maybe this time next year, I'll have more than 28 subscribers. But I'll take you guys fishing with me. Every time I go, I'll videotape it, edit, throw it on YouTube. Till next time. He's wild. Thirteen inches, probably. Oh, I got one on a crankbait. There's a good one. Maybe fifteen inches. I don't know. Yeah.